expert perspectives in MBC, identifying ESR1 mutations for Orsurdu eligibility. Sarah Nunnery, MD, MSCI, Director of Breast Cancer Research, Tennessee Oncology, Nashville, Tennessee. Indication. Or Surdu elicestrant is indicated for the treatment of postmenopausal women or adult men with estrogen receptor ER positive human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, HER2 negative, ESR1 mutated advanced or metastatic breast cancer with disease progression, following at least one line of endocrine therapy. Important safety information, warnings and precautions. Dyslipidemia. Hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia occurred in patients taking Orsurdu at an incidence of 30% and 27%, respectively. The incidence of grade 3 and 4 hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia were 0.9% and 2.2%, respectively. Monitor lipid profile prior to starting and periodically while taking Orsurdu. Full important safety information will follow this video. How do ESR1 mutations drive tumor biology at progression? Tumor biology changes over time as it adapts to the selective pressure of prior treatment. About 40% of patients acquire an ESR1 mutation. ESR1 mutations can confer a poor prognosis and, in my opinion, are a key driver of disease progression. ESR1 mutations are important to detect as they emerge directly from endocrine therapy exposure and confer resistance to treatment. As ESR1 mutations emerge, they should be treated with a therapy like Orsurdu. How to test for ESR1 mutations. I recommend testing at first-line progression for emerging ESR1 mutations, even if there's already known PIK3CA mutations detected at metastatic diagnosis. Liquid biopsy is the preferred method for detecting ESR1 mutations. I find them to be most accurate. Tissue biopsies do not account for spatial heterogeneity and may not be preferred by the patient or clinician. Testing with archival tissue is inadequate for detecting ESR1 mutations due to their acquired nature. You could miss detecting an ESR1 mutation by using tissue samples taken from metastatic diagnosis. Interpreting VAF percent on NGS test results. I don't use those numbers to determine whether I treat the ESR1 mutation or pick 3 ca mutations in the second line setting. ESR1 mutations are subclonal and acquired mutations, so they may not be present in every tumor cell or at metastatic diagnosis. The subclonal nature also explains the variant allele frequencies seen in test reports. In my experience, there is no correlation between variant allele frequency or ctDNA percent values on test reports and response to therapy. I treat the mutation that I feel is driving the metastatic disease progression. Indication. Or Surdu Elicestrant is indicated for the treatment of postmenopausal women or adult men with estrogen receptor ER positive, human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, HER2 negative, ESR1 mutated advanced or metastatic breast cancer with disease progression, following at least one line of endocrine therapy. Important safety information. Warnings and precautions. Dyslipidemia. Hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia occurred in patients taking Orsurdu at an incidence of 30% and 27% respectively. The incidence of grade 3 and 4 hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia were 0.9% and 2.2% respectively. Monitor lipid profile prior to starting and periodically while taking Orsurdu. Embryo-fetal toxicity. Based on findings in animals and its mechanism of action, or surdu can cause fetal harm when administered to a pregnant woman. Advise pregnant women and females of reproductive potential of the potential risk to a fetus. Advise females of reproductive potential to use effective contraception during treatment with or surdu and for one week after the last dose. Advise male patients with female partners of reproductive potential to use effective contraception during treatment with Orsurdu and for one week after the last dose. Adverse reactions. Serious adverse reactions occurred in 12% of patients who received Orsurdu. Serious adverse reactions in greater than 1% of patients who received Orsurdu were musculoskeletal pain, 1.7%, and nausea, 1.3%. Fatal adverse reactions occurred in 1.7% of patients who received Orsurdu, including cardiac arrest, septic shock, diverticulitis, and unknown cause, one patient each. 
The most common adverse reactions, greater than or equal to 10%, including laboratory abnormalities of Orsurdu, were musculoskeletal pain, 41%, nausea, 35%, increased cholesterol, 30%, increased AST, 29%, increased triglycerides, 27%, fatigue, 26%, decreased hemoglobin, 26%, Vomiting, 19%. Increased ALT, 17%. Decreased sodium, 16%. Increased creatinine, 16%. Decreased appetite, 15%. Diarrhea, 13%. Headache, 12%. Constipation, 12%. Abdominal pain, 11%. Hot flush, 11%. And dyspepsia, 10%. Drug interactions. Concomitant use with CYP3A4 inducers and or inhibitors. Avoid concomitant use of strong or moderate CYP3A4 inhibitors with or SIRDU. Avoid concomitant use of strong or moderate CYP3A4 inducers with or SIRDU. Use in specific populations. Lactation. Advise lactating women to not breastfeed during treatment with or SIRDU and for one week after the last dose. Hepatic impairment. Avoid use of Orsurdu in patients with severe hepatic impairment, child PUC. Reduce the dose of Orsurdu in patients with moderate hepatic impairment, child PUB. The safety and effectiveness of Orsurdu in pediatric patients have not been established. Orsurdu is available as 345 mg tablets and 86 mg tablets. To report suspected adverse reactions, contact Stemline Therapeutics Incorporated at 1-877-332-7961 or FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or www.fda.gov slash medwatch. Please see full prescribing information including patient information.